stop bothering those people who think outside the box. Just because you can't see yourself living outside of having a job doesn't give you the right to speak down on those people who have that vision. Your jealousy, your hate, is just a reflection of you. You're just telling on yourself, really. So you're telling me that it's better to wake up every day, to go to a job that you hate, to work around people that you don't like, to try to impress someone that you don't like, your boss, to deal with people that you can't stand, your clients, just to wake up the next day and do it all over again, but I'm the one that's crazy? Can someone look up the definition of insanity? And, and just, just put that in the chat. Someone please tell me the definition. Because I can't fathom waking up every fucking day, going to a job that I hate, for what? Because it's what I'm supposed to do? Or oh, it was what I was told to do? Or is, or is it the mentality that I'm trapped in? You know, the box. Or because you got this piece of paper, your diploma, that says you're supposed to be this, therefore you're that, even though you hate it. Why are you working a job if you're not passionate about it? Because it pays you a certain amount of money? But do you like it though? So you're telling me that you'll sell your soul and kill your spirit for a couple dollars. You really are letting them bribe you out of your dream, ain't you? You telling me that you're doing this, what, off the strength? Because you ain't doing it for the love, and you ain't doing it for the money, because we both know nine times out of ten, the money is not enough, but yet you wake up every fucking day religiously and head to this bullshit like you love it. And every step that you take, you're cursing the world, yet you look down on other people who are not doing the same thing who don't live for the weekend who like what they do who do it for free twice yet you're over here hating your job wishing you would get paid more wishing that your vacation days was coming up waiting for Friday but I'm the one that's crazy do you hear yourself for what you doing all of that for what to impress people that don't even know you you trying to flex for the gram you trying to put on the book make that shit make sense to me cause you don't know the motherfuckers like you think you know them and they don't know you like they think they know you yet you're trying to flex for people who don't care to impress people that you don't know can you make that make sense but you calling other people crazy? Y'all really need to wake the fuck up for real, for real. Because y'all doing shit because y'all fucking lazy. Let's just keep it a hundred. You never kept growing. You did the bare fucking minimum and now you're getting the fucking minimum. And you hating on people who kept going. Who went past college. Who went past that job. Who took their skills cultivated it and became something better but you are just stuck at the level that you at and you just mad at the world about it like you don't have control over it like it's not your fault it is your fault where you at right now in life it's a hundred percent your fault you could have kept going you could have looked to do something different you could have learned more learned something different but you were so stuck on this get money mentality you wasn't even seeing that you was not getting money. Because the real money is not earned, it's made. Wages will make you a living. Profits will make you rich. So the more you work for somebody, the more poor you become. you never become rich working for somebody else. Never. And even if your goal isn't to become rich, your goal is to become comfortable at least. And you'll never be comfortable working for somebody else because at any point at any time, even if you have fucking tenure, you can lose your job. Because what if that place that's giving you tenure doesn't exist anymore? Where do you got tenure at? What if they close their doors? 
we just came through a fucking pandemonium where a bunch of places closed their doors. Some of them closed their doors for good. Now what? You was left scrambling trying to find something new. All because you really in life didn't know what to do. Some of y'all folks worked there for 10, 15, 20 years and now got to start all over again because you never wanted to do better. And you turn around with people who's learning how to do it better, easier, and faster than you ever dreamed of and you want to put them down. Why not shut the fuck up and try to learn something instead? Why not ask, yo, how you do that and can you teach me? Why not search that shit? Everybody got access to the fucking internet. Instead of using that shit to fucking laugh at memes or impress people that you don't even fucking like, why don't we try to learn something instead? Or put down the phones and pick up a book. Turn off the TV and pick up a book. But you'd rather talk shit about somebody you don't even know who puts in more work than you will ever know because you want to be happy working for somebody. Do you know that that person that you're working for did not follow your script? They did what? Went outside the box. They decided to open up a business and hire employees. They hired you. All because they did not follow the norm because not everybody's a boss. I don't give a fuck if that's what you call yourself. You're not a boss until you got employees. So just because you don't get it, don't put other people down who's trying to do it. Because that's just a reflection of you and your ignorance. You can do better. You're just too lazy to do it.